Here's a bit of an odd question for you. Could your mobile phone completely replace your laptop? And a lot of people out there are probably saying, well, I don't really use a laptop anymore. I use my mobile phone for everything. But what I mean is productivity wise, could you actually replace your mobile phone uh, or your laptop with your mobile phone completely? Well, Samsung seems to think that this is a distinct possibility. And with that in mind, if you have one of the newer Samsung Galaxy phones, for example, um, they have this great little feature that people don't seem to be all that aware of called Samsung DeX. So if you're a geek like me and you like plugging things in and plugging cables in and mucking around with things, um, you'll probably be familiar with DeX. But essentially what DeX does is that when you plug your Samsung Galaxy phone, uh, my one for example is a Note 9, into a HDMI cable, a keyboard and a mouse, um, it turns on this mode called Samsung DeX, which basically turns your mobile phone into a PC. Now, albeit an Android based PC, but a PC nonetheless. Um, so this is an interesting one. And obviously this doesn't, uh, this still means you would have to carry theoretically a monitor around, a keyboard, mouse and whatever else. But this did get me thinking. So in my office uh, where I work, not that I'm there at the moment because of social distancing and all the COVID stuff, um, but in my office where I work, I often bring my personal laptop with me um, and on my lunch or whatever else, I do some college work or I do little bits and bobs or I edit some of these videos or I do something for this channel. Um, but it does mean that I have to carry my other laptop with me. Uh, so I have my work laptop on my desk and I have my personal laptop and I have, a carry, I have to carry my bag home with that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So one day what I did was I realized there's loads of monitors, keyboards, mice lying around the office um, and I plugged in a little adapter into the bottom of my Samsung Note 9 and plugged in a keyboard, HDMI cable into a monitor and lo and behold I got the Samsung DeX and essentially what I had then was from my little mobile phone I had a little Android based PC as if I was running a Chromebook. So if you're not familiar with Chromebooks they're Google's own little laptops that run a kind of scaled down version of Android um, on them so that they're light, they're cheap, they're portable etc etc etc. The real advantage to this though is that because in a lot of places that we go, in our homes, um, offices and whatever else, there are lots of monitors, there are lots of keyboards and there are lots of mice. They're pretty much abundant at, uh, everywhere that you go. You can actually just use your mobile phone as a PC. And whatever size monitor then you have, you get this full screen display, you open up the apps, you get that feel as if you were using Windows, so you can have multiple tabs. Um, and it does, you get the, the bar down at the bottom, um, you get like a start menu to get into your apps. Um, you get the little on the right, you get the little uh, status icons for your battery and whatever else. So this really does feel like a PC um, experience. Albeit you're still running the Android apps, but some of these apps now can scale up to whatever size monitor that you're using. So for example, if you have a keyboard mouse plugged in um, and you need to type up a Word document, this is now a much more PC-like experience. So probably you can't replace your laptop, but if you do need your personal PC, so to speak, this is a really, really good option. Particularly if you're using, say, a cloud-based storage service like Dropbox or OneDrive, where you can pull your files onto your phone, work on them, then upload them back again. So Samsung DeX is this really, really good idea. A couple of things though to be aware of. So with, with the Samsung newer phones, they all use a uh, USB-C port at the bottom. So you can get Samsung's own DeX dock. Um, which you plug the phone into and then you can plug in a HDMI cable. It's got a USB 3 port um, and a little port for charging. Um, and it's got a couple of other little bits and bobs in it as well, but it's hideously expensive. The good news is that if you have a Mac, uh, one of these, so the same one that you use for your MacBook, um, which is the USB-C on the bottom, HDMI, uh, USB-C power in, PD in, and USB 3, this will also work. Um, they're not cheap either though. Max versions of things are tend to be quite pricey. So the good news is there's also spurious versions. Um, this one I think is about 20 something euro. Um, it's from a company called Tripline, but this one does work. And again, it does data and charging. It has a USB-C, uh, USB 3.0 and a HDMI port. And when I plug this into the bottom of my PC, uh, I can plug in a keyboard and mouse or a USB hub. I can plug in power to power my, my 
I was gonna say PC, but it's my mobile phone, um, and I can plug in a monitor, so that's really, really good. So what I've actually taken to doing now is just carrying this around um, when I went into the office, um, and then plugging this into a keyboard, mouse, um, and an HDMI monitor, and it meant that I didn't have to bring my personal laptop if I needed to type up uh, reports for college or go through slideshows or presentations or whatever else. So this meant that all I was doing was carrying this extra little thing in my pocket. So that's really, really cool. It also means that I've now got this little setup in my apartment where I have a, a monitor, a nice 24 inch, uh, HD monitor um, set up with a little keyboard and mouse um, and rather than having to go to my big server or my big PC whenever I want to do something that's really really quick I can just pull up a chair plug the phone in open up word on that save the document upload it to Dropbox and hey presto so this is really really handy now obviously a lot of people are saying but surely it's more convenient to have the laptop on your lap hence the name um, and it is but if you know you're going somewhere like a college or an office where they have all the equipment, there's no need. The other thing that you can do is, um, I've got myself one of these and I got this online, I think from Wish. Um, it was about 15 euro, I think. A little Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad. And this literally just connects to my Samsung phone. It folds up, you can fit this in a pocket, in a coat pocket, connects via Bluetooth and actually gives me um, keyboard and mouse and um, trackpad and the actual little icon for the mouse comes up when this is Bluetooth connected. So this is really, really handy. So essentially now, all I'm lacking is the monitor and I have a full PC in my pocket on just my mobile phone. Other great thing which um, is probably gonna kick this up a notch is if you use any sort of remote desktop connection as I do, um, when you have this plugged in, so when I have this plugged in um, in work or in college, I can then remote desktop connect to my PC at home and I now have my full Windows home PC streaming to my mobile phone, but it's on a big screen with the keyboard, with the mouse. So it's almost as if I'm using the PC at home. The only piece of advice I would give you is check these out, read the comments first. I have seen a couple of these on sale that do not work uh, with Samsung DeX. Um, so they will give you power or USB or they'll just mimic their screen. So there is a difference between just displaying what's on your mobile phone screen to the DeX. DeX actually creates this little desktop on your screen and you can actually use the phone screen then as a trackpad, um, which is really, really cool. It's a bit fiddly and it's not for everybody. Um, Personally, I prefer going with the, the mouse or the trackpad that I have on this, um, but it's not the same as streaming or uh, mirroring your display. It's actually got this full, cool little setup, and when you plug it in, you see the DeX logo come up, and it's really, really handy. And I'd highly recommend if you have a Samsung phone, particularly any of the newer ones, you check if it has the DeX service on it. Um, what'll happen is the first time you plug in a HDMI cable, um, it will prompt you that if you want to just mirror the screen or switch on DeX mode, um, and once you click on DeX, then you'll get that uh, desktop experience. So guys, I hope you found this useful. As ever, if you could give this channel and old like and subscribe that would be super um, you can catch me as always on the social medias and if you have any questions or comments on this please don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments box below um, all that's left to say though is the usual bye bye for now